Firefighters at Birmingham Airport are called out once a day on average. Thankfully, it's rarely for a full-scale emergency, but if the unthinkable does happen, they've now got a new firefighting force. Five new fire engines have cameras which can see inside planes and let firefighters tackle the blaze from inside the cab so they don't risk their lives saving others. Mark Goff reports. A mock-up of a jet on fire. If the unimaginable happens, Birmingham Airport's firefighters need to get to a crashed jet quick. And now they've got new weapons in their firefighting armoury. They've just bought five new fire engines at £600,000 apiece. Of course, they hope they'll never need to use them in a real plane crash. But these machines can pump out 7,000 litres of water a minute. Telescopic arms mean they can fire gallons of water or foam at a blaze more than 30 feet away and as high as 50 feet up. And this arm pierces the plane's skin and fights the fire inside. All done with the fire crews in the safety of the fire engine cab. It's firefighting by remote control. As we currently run at the moment, firefighters are going to be in front of engines and around undercarriages, dealing with that by hand. These vehicles now mean that they're going to be in the safety of the cab, keeping the firefighters well out of harm's way. Heat-seeking infrared cameras on top of the machines and on the telescopic arms pick out the hot spots where the blaze is most intense, sending pictures to a TV inside the fire engine. I mean that firefighting crews have got a better understanding of where the, the hot spots, the seats of the fire are. And that means that when they go to extinguish fires, they'll be able to extinguish them more effectively and more efficiently. And as more and more of us fly, that's all about making sure that if the worst does happen, the airport is equipped to cope. Mark Goff, ITV News, Birmingham. A wonderful piece of kit. Now a new report.